So today I'm going to show you the easiest way that I have found to clean my RV roof. So as you can see, there's a lot of bird droppings, just a lot of filth all over. I have to be honest, I haven't cleaned my RV roof in almost two years. So you're gonna need a scrub brush. Uh, here's one with medium bristles. Simple green is what I use. Another brush with lighter bristles and a hose and a bucket if you want to. A uh, bucket's kind of optional and so is the monster. It's one of those mornings where I need a little kick-me-up. Now you want to be careful too when you're scrubbing the roof because you don't want to uh, use hard bristles because that could tear uh, the roof, right? So the roof on my RV is actually a rubber roof. So the first thing you're going to want to do, as you can see, is you're going to want to liberally wet the area with a lot of water. First thing this is going to do is it's going to wash off all that loose dirt that's uh, just sitting on the top. So first you get a lot of that excess dirt off and then secondly you're lubing up the roof to apply that simple green. Also for uh, a safety note on here, the roof gets really slick once you start uh, washing it. I found that just going barefoot is the easiest. So all you do is start spraying the simple green uh, liberally in the area and start scrubbing. So I'm going to start with that soft bristle brush, trying to work it in really nice and good. It's starting to bubble up. I actually found that the soft bristle brush right there in the uh, camera honestly did not work well for my situation. Uh, a soft bristle brush like that might work well for your situation. What I came to find out is that medium bristle brush right there that I'm scrubbing on my knees actually worked the best for my application. So all you do is scrub, scrub, scrub. I like to use uh, circles and go in different directions just to hit that uh, those dirt spots in multiple directions to really loosen it up and get it uh, nice and easy so when I wash it off with water, it just slides right off. I also want to note that if you're doing this and it's sunny out, for all you guys and gals out there, this is the perfect time to work on that tan. That is why I'm doing it with no shirt on. Figured why not get a nice tan while I'm working and maintaining my RV roof. So as you can see, I'm still doing those nice little circles, scrubbing it around. I'm also checking the roof to see if there's any holes or any uh, missing sealant around those covers. Now this is where I start spraying it all off with water, using a liberal amount of water, trying to get all that dirt off, see what we have underneath. As you can see, I'm just using a regular hose. If you use a pressure washer, be careful because the pressure could tear open the rubber. I don't have a pressure washer personally, so I just had to use a regular hose that I have. So now that I washed that off, I see that I didn't get a couple spots as good as I wanted to. And oh, as you can see in that video, my hose just fell off the roof and went down 
Uh, thankfully, there's nothing below down there. I made sure there was nothing on that side of the RV, just in case anything fell off the roof uh, and hit the ground over there. So another thing that I like to do with this is making sure, as you can see right there, really get in those grooves on the side of your RV roof, right where your gutter is. There's sealant there, and that sealant will start to get a lot of dirt and mold. And I've noticed when people wash their roofs, they only wash that very top. They don't get those sides to get all that dirt and mold off the sealant so you can really see what's going on with that sealant to see if you need to uh, add more or replace it if there's any holes in the sealant. You just want to keep working it. So as you can see I'm scrubbing, scrubbing circles, different directions. That first pass I did it wasn't really great because my technique wasn't great. So what I learned on this next pass is that I need to work on each spot for a little bit longer to really get that dirt up especially like I said for my situation application I haven't washed my roof in it's been at least a year and a half Like I said, I learned on this pass to really take your time and really work it in. So there I am dumping some water out of the bucket just to wipe away that dirt. I really wanted to see once I got my technique better and I really worked it in instead of just trying to do it really quick to see what a good actual one pass would accomplish. From here, after I just observed what it would look like after I really worked it in, I decided that it was about time I go down the ladder and go get that hose. Again, safety tip on this, be very, very careful, uh, especially if you don't have very good balance or maybe you have bad ankles, bad feet, bad knees. Uh, the roof gets really slippery and so does the ladder because your feet are wet. I personally have very good balance and I'm very careful with the way I step so for me to get my feet wet and go up and down that ladder is not a big issue at all and also the bigger or should I say the longer your hose is uh, the better and easier this job will be to do. For me personally, I only had a 25 foot hose in length for this video, which made it a little difficult to uh, get the hose up on the roof in some spots where the hose is currently was not an issue, but further down on the roof, I really couldn't get the hose all the way down there to reach to really use that pressure to wash away the dirt. It just made the job a lot harder than it uh, could have been. So here I am washing off liberally the roof section just to see what we have. Filling my bucket back up with some water. And using that bucket as a weight now to hold that hose on top of the roof. Now I'm going to show you the difference. As you can see, there's literally a line and you can literally see the difference there. That is one pass that I actually did 
a good job on versus not. Now I will also say that this is going to come out a lot whiter once it dries. So it doesn't look as good as it should or will right now just because it's wet. And I didn't know that at first, but after my roof dried, I got back up there and the white just really pops afterwards. But as you can see, even the slide out is really, really dirty. All that dirt and grime that's all up there. There's still dirt and grime over there. There's a little pool of the water that has flowed off. So you also want to do this in sections. So I just did one section and all I'm basically going to do is keep doing section by section until I have done the whole roof. That makes it the easiest way. That way you're checking each section to see if you like it. Here's a quick snapshot of the RV park I'm currently on in Coronado Island in San Diego, California. Beautiful day. So that wraps up the video on how to clean your roof. Um, last thing I like to wear because I shave my head is a hat because as you can see in the video, it's uh, sunny out here. But again, just a quick lowdown on how to clean the roof. I do it section by section like I talked about in the video. Uh, it's very simple. Don't need a whole lot of supplies. Very important for our viewers though to clean your roofs off because one, it allows you to check all your stuff, your seals on the edges, make sure you don't have any holes, and if you do, you can reseal them. Um, maybe I'll be making another video on that. Um, but it also is good just to maintain, to get all that uh, bird poop and everything off of the top of here. All right, stay tuned for the next videos.